Hi, this is Mike Bloom, Academic Technologist at College of William & Mary, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a uh, website on the blogs.wm.edu uh, website. First thing you'll need to do is go to blogs.wm.edu in the address bar of your browser, and you can just type that in blogs.wm.edu. Um, and then you'll go to this page where you can read a little bit about William and Mary blogs, but what we want is the blog resources. We've got a login here on the right hand side for those who already have an account, and we've got sign up for those who need to create an account. Um, if you're not sure if you have an account or not, um, try to sign up first. So I'll click on sign up, and you put in your username, and you put in your email address, and that's your William and Mary email address. The only William and Mary email addresses will work. And you can click on give me a site. And if you've already got a site, um, if you've already got a sign up, then um, rather an account, then when you click next, it'll say that that username already exists, and then you can just try to sign in with your um, existing account. Otherwise, um, it'll create your account for you and also take you to the next page to give you a site. So I'll click next, and you'll see that username already exists, so I can't create a, a user account. But that's how you would go ahead and create your user account and set up an account, a, a site very quickly. For those of you who do have a login, you can click on login, and then you can put in your username and your password. If you can't remember your password, there's the lost your password button here that you can use. I'll click on login. And it will take me to the blogs.wm.edu page, and um, it will probably give you an error that you don't have permissions to edit this page, which is fine. What you'll see, though, is you have a menu bar up at the top now. And what you can do is you should see a My Sites menu um, option as the very first thing on the left. And if you click on that, It will take you to any sites that you are currently an owner or a um, user of. Um, if you don't have anything here, what you should see is the create a new site. And if I click create a new site, um, it'll show a list of all your sites. But then at the bottom, it will ask you for your site domain. And your site domain is whatever you would like your site to be called. So let me call this wordpress.blogs.wm.edu. Um, no spaces, no funky characters, just uh, letters um, work best, letters and numbers. And the site title, so I'll call that WordPress Tutorials. And I'll say Create Site. So now down at the bottom here, it says that site already exists. So let me change the name to Website Tutorials. That's probably not a site that exists, and I'll say create site. And once you have a unique identifier um, for the URL, then it should say the site WordPress Tutorials is yours. And you can click on that link, and it should take you directly to the site. And now you're ready to start editing your page. So that is how you create a site.